And back to the Weather Watch, a live look at the Michigan Avenue Bridge. This view is from our camera at the McCormick Bridge House and River Museum. If you're strolling out there, it really wasn't bad today. Yeah, Mary Case here tracking the even warmer weather mm -hmm. on the way, which is followed, of course, since it's January by bitterly <laughs> cold weather. Exactly. You know, right now, temperatures are almost 20 degrees warmer than normal in some neighborhoods. We should be at 31 this time of year, but we're finding the low 50s as you head to the south. It's 50 degrees from Mark and Streeter. He has cloudy skies also reporting some fog and we currently have a mild 48 degree reading from Brenda in Crown Point and she says well yes warm but foggy all day long and that has been the case creating that lower visibility but here's a neat picture from Bourbon A from David Sprout. You can see the snow as it's melting and that cold surface and then you have the warm air moving in that's what's generating that fog. You know what as we move through the night temperatures are going to keep rising 49 degrees at O'Hare is our high so far today, but I think by tomorrow morning we should be in the low and mid 50s. So it's winds out of the south and southeast that are continuing to draw in that very mild air. Winds are at about 15 miles per hour. Now we do have a dense fog advisory up until 10 o'clock tonight. Poor visibility, less than a quarter mile in some places, so you need those low beam lights. So we're on the mild side of the system, but here the winter weather alerts not too far away from Minneapolis to Omaha. So ahead of it, it's cloud cover. Yes, still spotty sprinkles are around for us. No real organized rain until we get into tomorrow. That's when we look at the storm position over Wichita. We are on the mild rainy side of this system tomorrow and high temperatures will be pushing to 57 degrees in Joliet, 58 in Portage. But here is that Arctic air zero for a high in Fargo, five in Billings, 17 in Minneapolis. Yes, that cold air will be moving in for us and that could create some icy conditions by tomorrow night. So as the sun is setting tomorrow, really at this time tomorrow, that's when we're going to feel these chilly changes. So here's future cast at 1030 in the morning. Rain, keep that umbrella handy tomorrow. It's mild. But then as we get into four or five o'clock, look how it transitions to a mix of sleet, freezing rain and snow because temperatures will start dropping. Then we look at some lake enhancement here Friday afternoon into Friday night, even into Saturday. Depends on exactly where these snow bands set up as far as who will see the highest totals. But when we run the models now from Friday afternoon right through Saturday, here's Saturday at 8 a.m., it does look like that northerly wind component could hold Valparaiso and Laporte and Rensselaer and Gary into the heart of the heaviest snow. But again, if you get one of those bands on a northeasterly turn, that could really bring up totals here closer to downtown Chicago. All of this ending by about 5 or 6 o'clock Saturday night. So for tonight, it's rising temperatures. By tomorrow morning, we should be in the low and mid 50s everywhere and then tomorrow keep that umbrella handy but it's going to be windy you got to hang on to it 55 degrees only until five o'clock and then we watch that front move into our neighborhood look at the change from 57 Thursday to 25 on Friday, looking at lake enhancement Friday and Saturday, and then that Arctic air settles in for the weekend. So Rob and Erica, I can't stress enough, when you leave the house and it's about 55 degrees, bring the winter coat if you're yes. commuting in the evening because you'll need it. You don't even need the coat early. <laughs> I know. Just bring it for late. Have Weather it. whiplash. Have it. it. Like. I like that. Have <laughs> Thank that. Thank you, Mary Kay. <laughs>